In this presentation, we will learn how to delete the last node of the single linked list by using just a single pointer. So let's get started. Let us suppose we have this list already available with us and we have a head pointer which is pointing to the first node of this list. I am going to create another pointer which will also point to the first node of this list. I am going to use this pointer for traversing the list so that I can delete the last node of this list. Let's traverse the list using this pointer. I will just keep one pointer for deleting the last node of the list. I will move this pointer towards right and I will stop at the second last node of the list. So here the temp pointer will stop at this particular node which is the second last node of this list. Now I can simply delete this node by using this pointer. Let's see how we can do this. We will just pass temp link to free function. Free function requires the address of the node which we want to delete. We know that temp link contains this address 3000 right which means the address of the last node of the list. Here we just have to pass this address to free and it will free this node. That is what we can see over here. So by just using temp pointer we can delete the last node of the list. After this the next step is to put null in place of this 3000. So here temp link equal to null will replace this 3000 by null. So the link part of this node is also updated. Here is a program which helps us in doing the same thing that is deleting the last node of the list by just using a single pointer. For this purpose, I have created one function del last, which you can see over here. In the previous lecture, we have seen del last function, but I have changed it a little bit. Here you can see the changes in the else part, that is, instead of two pointers, we have just one pointer, and we are using this for traversing the list. You can see over here, the stem pointer is created, which is currently pointing to the first node of the list. After this, in this while loop, I am checking this condition is temp link link not equal to null. Previously, I was checking temp link not equal to null. Right now, I am checking temp link link not equal to null because I want to stop my pointer at this particular node that is the second last node of the list. That is why I am checking this is temp link link not equal to null. You can see over here the temp link link is not equal to null. Therefore, I can get inside this while loop. After this, this particular line of code will get evaluated that is temp equal to temp link, which means that this address is replaced by the address 2000. This means the temp is now pointing to the second last node of the list. Now, I will check this condition. Is temp link link not equal to null? That means temp link link not equal to null? No, it is equal to null. Thus, this condition becomes false. So here, we get outside of this while loop. Isn't that so? That is why I am using temp link link not equal to null because I want to stop at this particular node that is the second last node of the list. As the condition is not satisfied, we will get outside of this while loop and here you can see that we have free function and we are passing temp link to it which means we are passing this address 3000 to it. So after this line of code, this particular node will get deleted from this list and then after that the link part of this node will get updated by null. And after that in the main function of course the changes will get reflected and here I have created another pointer ptr which is pointing to the first node of the list. I am assuming here this pointer is already declared somewhere in the main function. That is my assumption. So here I am just assigning head to ptr. I will use this pointer for traversing this list so I can print all the elements of this linked list. So the output of this program is 4598 after this while loop get evaluated. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.